Hello, my name is George. I'm a TDA instructor. We're going to do our section A or the front of the truck. First, we start off with our clearance lights. They are amber in color, working properly, not been broken or cracked. Then we go to our front headlights. Our front headlights are not been broken or cracked. We have our uh, high beams, low beams, and our four way flashes, left turn signal, right turn signal, are amber in color. Now we look underneath the truck, make sure there's no hanging hoses, no wires, no leaks. Making sure everything's good to go. Now we're going to open up our hood. That's two latches, one on each side. Grab your handle, put your foot in the middle. Pull. We come on this side. We have our alternator. Our alternator is properly mounted, not been broken or cracked, working properly at all times. It is belt driven, so our belt has no more than three quarters of an inch of play. There is no frays, no illegal tapes, no illegal repairs. All our connections are time secure. Now we go on this side. <clears throat> we start off with our coolant reservoir. Our coolant reservoir is properly mounted at a proper level, not leaking, not been broken or cracked. Our caps are time secure. This is where I add coolant if my, if my truck is cool enough to do so. Also, my uh, individual hoses have no abrasions, bubbles, or cuts, no rips or torns, clamps on both ends. Then we go to our power steering reservoir. Power steering reservoir is properly mounted and I've been broken or cracked. This is at a proper level. This is where I add power steering fluid if I have to. And our, our hoses have no abrasions, bubbles, or cuts. Caps are time secure. Then we go to our power, we go to our water pump. Our water pump is properly mounted. I've been broken or cracked. It is also belt driven. So the belt has no more than three quarters of play. There is no parts missing and not leaking. Then behind our frame, we have our power steering pump. It is gear driven to the air compressor. The air compressor is also gear driven. They are both properly mounted. I've been broken or cracked, not leaking, not missing any parts. And we come out here to our steering shaft. Our steering shaft is properly mounted. I've been broken or cracked. Does not have more than two inches of free play. Our universal joints are properly lubricated on both ends. Then we go to our engine oil dipstick. This is where I'll check my engine oil. It is on tight and secure. It's not loose. And then we have our engine oil cap. This is where I add oil if I need to add oil. And it is tight. the cap is tight and secure. Then we go to our power steering gearbox and hoses. It's not been broken or cracked. It is properly mounted. And again, our individual hoses have no abrasions, bubbles, or cuts. Then we go to our steering linkage. We have our pitman arm, our drag link, our steering knuckle, and our tie rod end back here. They are all properly mounted. I've been broken or cracked, not, not missing any parts. And we have two secured castle nuts and cotter pins. They are not missing. They're all in place. <clears throat> then we go to our suspension system, starting with our spring mount. Our spring mount is properly mounted, not been broken or cracked, not cracked, and not missing uh, any bolts, any nuts. Then we go to our leaf spring. Our leaf spring is properly mounted, not been broken, not cracked, not shifted, no illegal welds, and it's secured with two U-bolts and a spacer, and it's secured to the axle. Our U-bolts are not broken or cracked, not missing no nuts. Then we have our shock absorber. Our shock absorber is properly mounted, not been broken or cracked, and it is not leaking hydraulic fluid. Now we go to our brake system. Starting off with our brake chamber, our brake chamber and the clamp is properly mounted. I've been broken or cracked, working properly at all times, not leaking. We have our air lines and hoses. They are both uh, not leaking, no abrasions, bubbles or cuts, not ripped or torn. And it's secured with clamps on both ends. Then we go to move over to our slack adjuster. Our slack adjuster is properly mounted. I've been broken or cracked. Then we have our push rod. Our push rod is properly mounted. I've been broken or cracked. It is secured to the slack adjuster with the cotter pin and cotter key. And there is no more than one inch of free play when brakes are released. Now we go into the brakes. Continue on with the brakes. We have our brake drum. Our brake drum is properly mounted, not been broken or cracked. No illegal welds. We have our brake shoe. And our brake shoe has no less than a quarter inch of thread. We have our brake lining. Not showing any white powder. No debris. No grease. And no oils. And we, move, we make our way out to the tire. Our tire is properly inflated to 100 PSI or a manufacturer specification. I will check the tire pressure with the tire gauge. There's no abrasion bubbles or, there's no abrasion bubbles or cuts, no rips or torns, no nose, no screws. 
the tire depth is evenly worn. The, the minimum tire depth is 432s. My valve stem is present, not been broken or cracked, not leaking. These tires cannot be recapped. <clears throat> now we go to our, our front rim. Our rim is properly mounted, not been broken or cracked. No illegal welds, no illegal repairs. Our lug nuts are all present, they're all tight and secure. There is no, there is no signs of shiny thread or rust trail that would indicate my lug nuts would be loose. And lastly, for our section A, we have our hub seal. Our hub seal is properly mounted, not been broken or cracked. It is at a proper level and is not leaking oil. And that is all for our Section A for TDA inspection.